hello everyone hope you're right in today's video i'm going to show you few updates in my front yard and i'm going to transplant my tomato seedlings and pepper seedlings as you can see my front yard is looking really really beautiful the fruit trees have started to blossom the plum tree is first to blossom and it is fully loaded with flowers and i'm loving this it is loaded with flowers and looking absolutely beautiful I will have to do some thinning on it and pruning as well in summer because the stone fruit trees are pruned in summer and underneath you can see all the daffodils and muskies are still going nice and strong and there are some new blooms this week this variety i don't actually know the name it is like multi-stem daffodil it has small flowers with a buttery yellow center and it is started to bloom this week in this square as well you can see this one is much more on yellow side and this is also multi-stem also at the side border the tulips are starting to bloom this is world's favorite and they are absolutely beautiful and cheerful some people may not like the color but i absolutely adore them i like bright colors vibrant colors which catch your eye from a distance and this is the most captivating spot in my garden right now here you can see the clematis is growing nicely it is uh, leafing out and climbing on this fence and hopefully it will bloom soon this is early summer bloomer and moving on you can see more tulips are coming on and here is another batch of purple mix so there is light purple deep purple and yellow and burgundy and they are absolutely beautiful not fully open yet and some of them are double as well so looking really beautiful and i'm quite happy with my planting scheme of flowering bulbs this year i have got all the tulips in the side border and they are in patches and here you can see these hyacinths are still going nice and strong i'm really impressed with them it's been over a month they are blooming and they are still standing on their feet and looking absolutely beautiful some of them are two stems they haven't missed a beat given the fact that we have had really stormy weather on and off and they are still standing strong so i would highly recommend growing hyacinths in your garden they are absolutely beautiful and here is my pear tree starting to leaf out and i'm anxiously waiting for it to bloom because it didn't bloom last year and i'm praying that it blooms this year pear trees and apple trees bloom on their spurs these little side branches where they start to leaf out they have birds flowering birds within the leaves and i'm quite hopeful and looking for all the signs when they open and they have flowering birds inside so no signs yet and if i show you my apple tree it is much ahead and you can see all the flower buds inside the leaves so here you can see these small side branches these are spurs and if you look closely there are three to four leaves and inside them you can see three four flowering buds which will soon open and look really really beautiful and these will hopefully turn into fruit yes the tree is looking absolutely beautiful leafing out it starts with this burgundy foliage and then it lightens as it ages so i'm in my greenhouse now and i have got these two waste pads inside my greenhouse which are full with these spinach chard and beetroot so i'm going to harvest all of this today and i started them in fall and they didn't grow much over the winter but since the beginning of march they have put on tremendous amount of growth and you can see they are ready to harvest so i'm going to harvest all the beetroots swiss chard and spinach here i will use the leaves of beetroot as well because beetroot is not very big i don't know what's the reason some people say it is like uh, you need to add some brown minerals in your soil for the beetroots to grow bigger i'm not sure about yet it was my first time growing beetroots and i'm okay with it we don't normally eat beetroots so i'm okay with the leaves as well i just like to grow all kind of vegetables and i can munch on a little bit of whatever i get from my garden and it is always a nice feeling to harvest from your garden and in april i'm harvesting all this spinach beetroot and swiss chard which is totally awesome and i can't describe in words how happy i'm feeling so i'm going to harvest all of it 
then i will use one of the raised beds to transplant my tomato plants and the other is where i have already started my potatoes which i sowed in between the beetroot swiss chard and spinach plants so they are starting to show the signs that they are growing So this is my first harvest of the year 2022 absolutely beautiful and loaded i am really happy and thankful for this abundant harvest here i have got my tomato seedlings in this seed starting kit which i started in the beginning of march and they are overflowing they need you to be transplanted at least a couple of weeks ago but the weather has been really really stormy and cold so i waited and waited for the weather to warm up a little bit so i can transplant them and move them into my greenhouse i started them under grow lights inside my house so it's much more ideal conditions but in my greenhouse there is no additional heating or light so it's all natural so i have been hardening them off for a couple of weeks now on and off and i have got these recycled yogurt pods which are nice and tall so i'm going to transplant most of them into these yogurt pods until they are ready to be planted outside in the garden in the containers this year i'm going to grow most of the tomato plants in big containers some of them will go inside the raised bed in my greenhouse which are Tiny Tim and Super Marmaid. Tiny Tim is determinate variety and Super Marmaid is semi determinate, which means they only grow to a determined height and they keep producing throughout the season. So I will put those two in my raised bed and the others will go in the containers. So uh, the weather is still really cold at night, so I can't take the risk to put them outside in the garden. So I will be transplanting them in these sugar pots and put them in the greenhouse so here you can see i have got two of them so i gently pull them apart from each other tomato plants are quite resilient i have been growing them for many years now and they always perform for me it's just that we have very really damp weather here so if we start them late at the harvest time in september they will be under the risk of getting blight which i got last year so it's recommended to start them early indoors so they can be harvested since late june through august and then you will have much more time to reap the fruit of your labor so i have uh, transplanted is quite deep so tomato plants need to be transplanted very deep it's uh, like you put a little bit of soil at the bottom and then i put my seedling all the way down with the roots and then i remove the lower leaves and fill it all the way up so it will root out along the stem so wherever the soil is it will root out and it will be nice and strong so if you have got leggy seedlings you can transplant them really deep in these bigger pots and it will give them much more time to root out and become stronger so i'm going to transplant all of them in these yogurt pots i have got many varieties here i have got tomato tumbler gardener's delight and yellow pear and sun gold f1 so i'm going to transplant all of them here
so i'm transplanting my tomato seedlings and i wanted to show you some of them here this is tomato tumbler variety and you can see all these root nodules on the stem which is like from where the roots will come out and this is how they root out tomato tumbler is supposed to be a determinate variety but from my experience last year they grow quite tall uh, they are not like indeterminate but they still grow quite tall so i'm going to plant them in these bigger pots this is like a seven liter pot i guess i have filled it all the way up with the compost and then i'm going to put two plants per container and just in case if one doesn't survive i will still have one in the container but hopefully both of them survive if they still will be okay because uh, it's nice and big container and i haven't filled it all the way up as they grow bigger i can still add more compost to cover the stems so these will stay in these pots for the rest of the season so i have got these tomato tumblers to go in these bigger pots and here i'm going to transplant my tiny tim and super marmaid in this raised bed so i will be planting the back row of super marmaid which is semi determinate so they grow like three feet tall maximum and they produce the beef steak tomatoes which are really really awesome last year i was quite happy to have them and i didn't get them to ripe outside because we have had blight so this year i'm planting them inside my greenhouse which will give them extra protection so maybe they will last longer in the greenhouse and they will ripen on the vine so the back row will be super marmaid and the front row will be tiny tim tomatoes So here are my bell pepper and chili seedlings which also need to be transplanted they are growing nice and strong and it is really windy today not an ideal day to transplant them but this is need to be done i have got these bigger five liter pots which i have filled with multi-purpose compost so i'm going to transplant my bell pepper and chili seedlings in them and they will stay in these pots for the rest of the season I will move them in my greenhouse for now so they will stay in my greenhouse for a couple of weeks and then as the weather warms up I will move them outside in the garden. I started them indoors under the growth light in February and it's been two to three months they have grown nice and strong. I pinched some of them and they are already starting to branch out and leaf out and some of them I didn't pinch just to have some early fruit. Some of them are already flowering and I have got two types here. One is green bullet chilies and the other is um, bird eye chilies. And the third I have got bell pepper which is also called sweet pepper. So I am quite happy with the growth of my pepper plants this year. I think it is all due to the grow light I have had. It has really made the difference last year at this time I have really tiny ceilings but this year they are nice and strong and big and already flowering so I would highly recommend using a grow light and if you want to know which grow light I used I will include the link in the description box so you can check it out. So thankfully I'm done transplanting all my tomatoes and bell pepper and chili seedlings and this has been the chore which I have been wanting to do for a couple of weeks but the weather did not allow me to do it. I'm quite happy today I have got it done. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos. Thank you very much for watching today. See you next time. Bye.